Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Greetings, divine wayshores of the new way, of the path of the pure heart. Your life, your journey, is what we call the pathless path. You cannot see, taste, or touch this path, but you are the path, and together we are the event. When we step into our Christhood and live in the love of our heart's center, all comes into perfect alignment as we contribute to the collective starseed mission of cultivating and culminating the brightest flash of light that is a supernova quantum leap of consciousness into full expansion and merging the totality of our infinite multidimensional sacred self. We came into this realm to plant the seeds of higher consciousness into the field of awareness of the Noah sphere of Gaia to assist her and all her children in this great ascension process. We have reached a critical mass of connecting and calling in divine intervention. Now is the time for prime disclosure and first contact. A big piece of our galactic transformation, we are reconnecting with our star families and galactic nations to usher in the new golden age of eternal life. We are navigating towards the greatest reunion of all timelines and realms. Living in a paradoxical world, nothing is as it seems nor is it otherwise. In reality, emptiness is form and form is emptiness. They are intrinsically linked beyond space and time. We are in the final hours of this intense and wild wave spell of the Red Serpent. This is day 13, and the last day of this wave spell is Keen 117, Red Cosmic Earth, with all old dross and residue being burnt off and purged for the Great Awakening to be final and complete in this now. Tomorrow we begin a new wave spell of the White Mirror, where all things are reflected perfectly upon the mirror of the mind in this revelation of heaven on earth. Our true nature shines brightly through the darkness into the light. Stay anchored in the present moment, drop your awareness into the heart center, and connect your still center with the crystalline core of Pachamama and the still white light of the great central sun, and get ready for our total leap of faith into the new earth. Aho! Welcome, beloved beings of light. I am Paul White Gold Eagle from PrimeDisclosure.com. We have many powerful transmissions for you today from our from our sacred earth scribe, so be sure to stick around to the very end. And if you can do us a favor, please like, comment, and share this video with your teams and tribes all over this realm. And thank you to everyone that connected with us yesterday through that powerful Mind to Mind Buddha transmission. If you haven't checked that video out, be sure to. It's very special. We're only going to leave that live on YouTube to the first of the year. Then we're going to archive it on Patreon. Included in that special transmission is Pure Awareness Buddha Consciousness Transmission directly from Source and through my heart and soul. So thank you to everyone for your beautiful and kind comments and amazing feedback on that video. We appreciate each and every one of you supporting us in this great mission and work here upon Pachamama. And with these powerful, intense energies flowing in, we had many activations all over the earth. Mother Earth received many openings and activations. We had 108 earthquakes in the past 24 hours, M1.5 or greater. The most powerful, 6.1 Eastern Fiji. There was a trinity of activations in this portal. We had an M5.6 that struck the eastern Mediterranean between the islands of Rhodes and Crete, which appears to have been released from a seismic force generated by a powerful and very deep quake, the 6.1, at a depth of 639 kilometers, 639, the 369 of Nikola Tesla codes, and this was in the Fiji Islands, and then there was a movement in Europe about three hours after that in the Pacific Ocean. Earlier today, in southeast of Loyalty Islands, 4.9, 13 Divine Goddess, on the 13th day of this wave spell, 441 coming in, Itsu Islands, Japan, 4.8, Soledad, California, 33, 33 Divine Mastery, 
China had a powerful activation with a 4.1, Okinawa, Japan, 5.9, the crown of Lemuria, Anchorage, Alaska, 3.1, anchoring in through the crown chakra into the heart center. Puerto Rico, we had a 3.4, U.S. Virgin Islands, 3.4. 77 7 portal 77 of the sacred okinawa japan 4 6 solomon island soul of the moon the sun and moon 4.7 lindsberg kansas 3.9 bonin islands japan 4 9 indonesia 4 6 ferndale california 4 0 3 3 indonesia 5 4 council of nine coming in south Asian with the 5.1 in greece and then the most powerful 6.1. This was at 1542 UTC, 639 kilometers depth. Guatemala, Central America, home of our Mayan elders, another 4.5, Council of Nine. Indonesia, 4.599, Portal, 99.10, Greece, Sky Nation, the Sky Beings, most powerful Thunder Beings. Central Greece, 4.6 in the root chakra of Pachamama, South Sandwich Islands 5.1, back to the crown, Rat Islands, Aleutian Islands 3.6, another 9 activation, triple 9 code, in the portal of liberation, La Libertad, Sonora, Mexico 4.7, Fiji, another powerful activation, 4.5, 551 kilometer depth, South Aegean Sea of Greece, 5.6, Chile, South America, Andes, Mountains, Kundalini, Pachamama, home of our sacred condors, 4.3, Hokkaido, Japan, 4.6, Oaxaca, Mexico, 4.2, South Aegean, Greece, another powerful 4.4, 4, Divine 44 coming in, South of Fiji, 4.9, Volcano Islands, Japan, 5.2, Mentone, Texas, 3.0, Again, the whole ring of fire totally lit up and activated. The ley lines flowing free with the energy, the sacred chi, the holy prana flowing through the veins of Mother Earth, through the waterways, through the meridians, the energy lines, the dragon lines. The chi flows smoothly, preparing for this great rainbow body activation of heaven upon Earth. And now we continue with the Sabian symbols. Right now, the moon is at 7 degrees, 2 minutes Libra. The sun is at 5 degrees, 40 minutes Capricorn. The current Sabian symbol for the sun at 6 degrees Capricorn. Ten logs lie under an archway leading to darker woods. Very symbolic. The current Sabian symbol for the moon at 8 degrees Libra. A blazing fireplace in a deserted home. From astrologyweekly.com very mysterious, alluring, and surreal codes coming in. And very symbolic for the psyche, the mythos, activating the primordial alchemist within. And now my sacred condor pulls a card for you today from the oracle deck Beyond Lemoria from Izzy Ivy. And the card she pulled for you today, very powerful, beautiful card. Card 40, Radical Expansion. We have the white dragon energy coming in, the feathered serpent, divine goddess, and the winged nation. Also gold dragon connecting to the thunder beings and the radical expansion of supernova souls. Living and loving at full capacity, being unapologetically you, self-expression, boldness, having a voice, taking up space, expansion, empowerment, Owning your true power, being visible in the world, having fun with your magnificence, letting go of judgment, creative exploration, radical ways of being. What would it be like to live, love, and feel at full capacity? Do you imagine what it would be like? This card is about being truly and unapologetically you. The gifts you think are too bold for this world and those heartfelt experiences you believe you should hold back on might just light someone up. The physical self-expression that you dull down so you fit in, and those dreams that seem too vast could be precisely what the world is waiting for. Do you feel you have the right to take up space? Our auras can expand manifold, but we often choose to keep them tight to our bodies, maybe for safety. But what is this construct in which we have imprisoned ourselves? Where does this subtle or not-so-subtle shame come from? 
Why not dance our most beautiful dance? Dress in a way that makes us feel magnificent and sing so our voices are heard. Considering the paradigm of our judgment in others can help us expand into authentic expression. We may not be aware of the thoughts that were imprinted in us from a young age through our parents, teachers, society, and the media. Separation and limitation begin with your beliefs around what is acceptable and what is not. Connection and possibility come through owning your power and embracing your responsibility to be more visible in the world, to not shy away from life. It is time for radical ways of being and thinking, and you can start by granting yourself the freedom and creativity to be you. Having a voice is essential for power to shift back to individuals and communities outside of prescribed normality. It is time to unleash your inner rainbow dragon and unapologetically claim your heart-based empowerment and radiantly unconventional gifts and to have fun with it. And now from Divine Brothor of the Light Rumi of the Sufi lineage. The truth was a mirror in the hands of God. It fell and broke into pieces. Everybody took a piece of it. And they looked at it and thought they had the truth. My little commentary. The mirror that shattered. We have spent millions of years and lifetimes putting the pieces back together to make consciousness whole and complete again. Although what is true is that the, each piece of the mirror is an exact replica of the whole thing, a divine reflection of our true self, the nature of the universe. And from Divine Brothor of the Light Rick Jewers, a few accomplishments by the light over the last several years. 1. Taking over the full control of the celestial bodies, ships, Jupiter and Saturn from the darkness for the light. 2. Taking complete control of the Orion toroidal field away from the darkness and preventing any dimensional travel and access for them. They are quarantined to a constant 4D space and time. The old Orion portal is to be known as the Arion portal, A-R-I-O-N, and is fully controlled by the light. 3. A multidimensional portal, also known as an Arian portal, has been activated in the light portal of the sun in preparation for further planetary upliftment into the fifth dimensional state and space, as per the ascension. For the light has secured all of the necessary 5D primary nodules directly to the physical vessel of Gaia, Terra, that is the new 5D ley line systems that is uncompromisable by all ill intent. A planet-wide buttoning of this 5D white light grid has also created many other secondary and tertiary 5D nodules. 5. The insurmountable planetary evidence and documentation required to fully expose and reveal every identity and aspect of darkness, having been integrated into all media sources and communication channels worldwide. As a result, this has expedited the ascension by about eight linear years and has forced almost all of the darkness to present reveal itself to all of the masses. 6. Having shut off all escape routes for any nefarious beings assisting the three to the fourth density darkness, including placing a plasma dome over the entirety of Antarctica several linear years ago, also shutting down and limiting the use of cyclotrons worldwide because of causing temporal distortions in the space-time continuum in the least. 188 were known to humans, while another 50 or so were underground and not publicly revealed. 7. Expanding the collective consciousness through telepathic means, as well as individual profound experiences and realizations that contributed to documented phenomenon like signs in the skies as confirmations. 8. Increased substantially the light body, Christ aligned process within many which energetically advanced humanity as a whole. 9. Prevented several mock wars from materializing. 10 has released the divine plan and simple instructions for humanity to advance out of the darkness rapidly as a simple logical choice rather than requiring to be healed first. The divine plan once chosen begins the healing and once fully implemented heals all of negativity and stress instantly. 11. Has awakened more than enough of the world's population at this point to swiftly propel humanity out of the savagery. Love, Light, and Gratitude, Rick Jewers. 
and from Divine Sister of the Light, Grandma Chandra. During the recent DNA activation stargate, you pass through a period of turbulence and compressed energetic downloads. Now a very loving, very compassionate, very balanced energy is coming to all of humanity and Gaia to help you process everything that you have received. This will be like fabric on which you will be revealing everything that you downloaded and everything you processed. This balanced, loving energy will give you an opportunity to prepare for the new year and to release all of the physical, emotional, and mental blocks that showed up during the DNA activation stargate. This loving energy will go through all of you like an x-ray, and wherever there is something that was compressed, condensed, or not properly released, this loving energy will release it in a very subtle or gentle way. The stargate helped us to determine what needs to go. If you didn't experience a total release, this cleansing energy will help you. It is like a tropical rain where you don't actually feel the drops. You feel the flow of water all over you. You are going through a flow of purifying water. It is going through you layer by layer, cell by cell, through all your bodies, including the mental, physical, emotional, and astral ones. To all that hear this, I will be sending you unconditional love from my heart. In return, I will be receiving love from all of you. We will be united and feel like a real family. Hugs and love to you all, Grandma, from GrandmaChandra.com and from Divine Sister of the Light, Laura Pleiadian. Entering the Portal of Consciousness Expansion We are present with you acknowledging what many of you are going through. We are the Divine Council of Overseers, present again as always with Sanat Kumara, the Queen of Light, the Elohim, and the Pleiadian Council of Light, the immensity of consciousness ready to embody itself among all those who have prepared their heart, is the pivotal tipping point that manifests itself as the divine being, the ascended self. This is no small endeavor, as many of you have experienced many lifetimes of preparation for this. Those of you in full mastery, present as the earth was being designed, as well as the plan of the human form of embodiment, will remember clearly the intention set for all of this that is now unfolding before you. Many of you have existed in the angelic realms prior to this earth experience, and with full excitement signed up for this, your program of bringing the awareness of unconditional love to this earth embodiment experience. We offer full healing to all of you that have been experiencing many challenges that are new to you in and during the full transformation of your form. This is your transfiguration through the union of your heart with that which you are eternally. What you truly are, whatever you choose to call this, either your higher self, ascended self, cosmic God self, this is you that is eternal. All of this is so beyond what your current awareness has allowed you to identify yourself with and as. This vastness of being is your natural state throughout this universe. And the universe representing the vastness of this limitless light represents even a part of what you are. You are beyond that. This expansion of awareness takes you through the stages of being, through your heart, that unites you with what you truly are. The tipping point of the heart expansion opens the windows for you to see and know and experience all that you are. This is why you are here, to move away from the limited beliefs of being boxed into a limited form and to expand your awareness into that which you really are. The love and awareness then begins to be embodied through every breath. This activates your DNA, your eternal divine power, and expands into the full embodiment of your eternal self. This is your ascended self in the here and now, already present and also awaiting your awareness to be that, aware of what you are. This is why we are present with you. Your awareness then becomes the almighty awareness of you, the you where nothing is outside of it. This is the eternal glory that you are, that you are uniting with through this activation of your awareness. You must know through experience what you are to embody this and reach within yourself your own tipping point, to be that which you are. Our presence, creating this universe, expanding your heart, comes to the awareness of this. You enter your freedom, the moment, the beloved experience of all that is, that you are. This is your true home. This is the full awareness of that you are. Feel the universe expand into your heart, to then surround you, and for your eternal self to consciously allow you to be aware of this, feeling this. 
We activate you now to feel this as you. It is in this that we activate you, linking your awareness through your heart, expanding this throughout the universe, activating the awareness in your cells, the fluid that surrounds your cells and liquid golden light, that which you are eternally throughout the universe. Breathe this truth in now. This is all that is now. You are flowing with this as all that you are. In the golden liquid light of the central sun, into your heart expansion, flowing through the tipping point, into this full awareness now, from the new divinehumanity.com, and from divine Brothor of the light, Nova Max. We are the Pleiadians collective, in truth we stand. Friends of planet Earth, there are many unknown galaxies to your world. Know that life exists in every space in your dimension, seen and unseen. As you share the quantum field with all multiverses, you can know for certainty that your power extends far beyond the small sacred planet that holds you. All life is connected holographically and consciousness is infinite. What does this mean for you? You are everything. Choosing a pinpoint of consciousness as your frame of reference for the identity you have chosen brings your perspective to duality. With one thought of truth, expansion in awareness is possible. You get to choose. As you go about your day, you are not dealing with the truth of timelessness. Earth has set time as an illusion to make sense of moving, meeting, waking, and dreaming. In the beginning of all dreams, Pleiadians dreamed awake in tones and colors. We lived in power as we resonated with the vibrational frequency of Creator Source. We moved seamlessly through densities and dimensions. Exploring became constant, and we knew other races as friends as we spread light through realities of being. There were no religions, no war or discord. There was nothing to judge or condemn. There was only expansion and great power. As our technology grew and changed, we taught others many ways to be. We discovered that many would choose duality over oneness for many reasons. Free will brought conflict to some races, and competition caused frequency changes. We took our flights as far as consciousness would allow. We came to earth as sky gods and watchers of the earth. We became human in many dreams to experience duality and return to oneness. We are with you now in teaching our way of being. In understanding the cycles of earth and all places in the cosmos, we prepared for the grand shift, an awakening to be gifted to a planet that has grown dark. Many are present on earth now holding the light. These lightworkers and starseeds are becoming more knowledgeable and brighter for the cause of expanding and continuing in higher realms. We have prepared a place called Sheen. This is the heart of the shifting realities. Our teaching has been constant on giant crystals beneath the mountains and sea, waiting for the signal to rise and turn. Crafts are prepared and many friends from multiple galaxies await the moment of now. The sacred moment will usher you to the beginning, the place of light, the beautiful oasis of perfection and creativity where all will thrive. In this moment you will remember who you are. As we journey forward, you must know there are many teachers that know nothing of the Galactic Federation, but they still enjoy the play. Find the truth that resonates with your soul and leave the rest. You have heard truth that a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. Choose wisely. Light calls to you. We are the truth and light that calls to the light within you. We are many and we are of great power. We are honored that many have joined us as the family of light. We are the Pleiadian Collective and we prevail infinitely. We love you so. Thanks to Judith and the Pleiadian Collective of Tegeta and my friend of all time, Goddess Aya, Laka, Neo, and Kalingal from Nova Max and from Divine Sister of the Light, Aurora Ray, Galactic Federation Ascension Update. The Galactic Federation says when you have reached this point in your ascension, it is important to be carrying a light so bright that no darkness will dare attempt to take over. I know that each one of you is here because you are ready to connect with your higher self, push through obstacles, and shine brightly as you step into your new world. I am excited to bring forth this beautiful message from the Galactic Federation, which wants us to see how far we have come and how important it is that we hold on to our light. We, the Galactic Federation, are here to assist humanity in its ascension. We are delivering important messages that you need to know. 
We are also here to assist you in understanding your own personal ascension process and its unique challenges. We are here to help you understand how you can fulfill your soul's mission and purpose as a human being. And we are here to assist you in understanding how to live your life every moment with love, joy, and peace. There is a lot of fear, confusion, anger, and violence occurring on the planet. The dark forces are attempting to keep you in fear and control as they have for eons. You have been taught to be in fear. Fear is greatly used by the powers that be, whether they are human or non-human, alien. We are assisting in the removal of the veils that have prevented you from seeing that which has existed all along for you. We are assisting in the removal of those who wish to steal your power, your prosperity, and your joy. We are directing energies to help you awaken from the dream state and to full consciousness of who you are. As we have said before, it is not a good time to be asleep and unaware of what is occurring around you. Waking up means that you need to observe and pay attention, means that you need to be discerning about what is occurring, means that you need to take action and make changes where changes are needed. It is a good time to pay attention because ascension is occurring now. You are in transition into the highest levels of consciousness, freedom, and joy. If you open up your hearts, minds, and souls, then we can assist you in taking this next step with grace and ease. Ascension is the evolution of consciousness. It is your transition from a third dimensional reality to a fifth dimensional reality. Ascension is a process that all humans will experience, but not all at once. It occurs in stages and few people are experiencing it now. Many more will experience it in the coming months. Ascension entails breaking free from the illusion of the third dimension and returning to your natural state of being. There are many of what you would call light workers at this time who have chosen to come to earth during this brief period in the history of the planet because they have such a desire to be here and assist. They have been scattered all over the earth, some in isolated places. As we surround the planet with our ships, we are connecting telepathically with these light workers and assisting them in their work. We are connecting them with each other and with their guides and teachers. In this place of neutrality, we are able to assist in raising the frequency of the planet and assist in the elevation of consciousness. We have been doing this for many years, but this is a new stage in the process. We are also assisting in the release of toxins and radiation from the planet. This is being done by creating a grid around the planet that allows its natural cleansing of toxins and radiation to occur. This is accomplished by our ships surrounding the planet in a grid formation. We are also working on removing certain devices that were placed on your planet by the controllers, which emit harmful frequencies, energies, and vibrations into the Earth's atmosphere. Our purpose is to make it possible for humanity to ascend as a whole and for Earth to ascend into higher frequencies of reality. You have been kept from knowing these things because of negative programming that has been embedded into your consciousness over thousands of years that was initiated by the controllers during their invasion and takeover of your planet. The controller's main goal has always been to prevent you from ascending because if you did, their control over you would be lost. They have used every means possible to keep you from ascending, such as suppressing the truth about your galactic origins, suppressing access to technologies that would assist your evolution, suppressing your memories, suppressing knowledge about ascension and how to achieve it, and creating endless distractions in order to keep you at lower frequencies where they can control you easily. We are working with the councils of light and the spiritual hierarchy of earth. This light is flowing through us to you. We are assisting you in this process. We are assisting you in raising your vibrational frequencies, in your spiritual growth, and in your awakening process. We are also helping you to hold on to your higher light bodies. We are helping you to move more deeply into the now and to anchor yourselves there. This is to say that the entire Galactic Federation of Worlds is committed to helping Earth and humanity enter the fifth dimension. We are assisting you in the raising of your consciousness, the activation of higher DNA 12-strand coding, and the higher attainment of the cosmic mind. This is not an invasion of your planet or interference with your free will. We do not descend upon your world uninvited. On the contrary, we have been invited by your higher selves, by your star families who are waiting for you in the fifth dimension, and by many thousands of people on earth who have already ascended. Raising earth's vibration into 5D time-space reality 
requires critical mass, which can only be achieved by mass consciousness awakening. We are here to assist you in your awakening process as well as possible at this time. Your souls have already made this choice before coming onto your planet. But the human ego may resist these changes because they threaten everything that you believe to be true about yourself, about life, and about control. Please understand that you make all your decisions on earth based on what you believe about yourself and about life itself. You are now becoming accustomed to being in your light body. You are now beginning to realize that you have a duality between your physical self and your spiritual self between your energy and your personality, between your mind and your emotions, between the ego and the soul. We have been working with you for many years. We have been trying to prepare you for this moment in time so that you can take full advantage of this opportunity, so that you can move into a higher dimension of existence, so that you can tend to the needs of Mother Earth as she continues her transformation into a new world. That is why we have provided information about what is occurring on Earth at this time, and why it is occurring. It is also why we have encouraged each of you to become more aware of who you are and what it means to be in human form at this time on earth. As part of our mission, we will continue to deliver messages to those who are open and ready to receive them. We will do whatever is necessary to help you understand the truth of your origins and your connection to the universe. We are always with you, but until you recognize and accept us as your friends and helpers, we cannot interfere with your free will choices. You have chosen to be here during this time of transformation, so we are here also. This is a time when old ideas and beliefs are being challenged by new ones. The planet is moving into higher frequencies of light, which means that there will be more changes in the way you perceive reality. It will cause many people to awaken from the illusion that life on earth is separate from other worlds. The time is here, the time is now. You are the catalyst. You are the one who is going to create this reality through your frequency, through your vibration, through your thoughts and intentions. This ascension process is occurring in many dimensions at the same time, and millions of entities from other places in the cosmos are also assisting in the process. We would like to remind you that none of these changes can occur without your agreement, without your permission and willingness to take that step, so allow it. We all come from the same place of love, light, and joy. We are just on different paths within this experience. So if you are feeling confused or fearful regarding what is occurring on earth at this time, know that there is a higher perspective that you can reach out for. Feel free as a free spirit. You have incarnated into this physical form with a specific mission to bring forth in this lifetime. It will be revealed to you as you go along and trust life to unfold itself before you. Your missions may seem challenging at times, but they will always lead you back to love and joy, so don't lose sight of that. Your soul knows what's best for you, so allow it to guide you along your path. The more you are aware of your galactic neighbors, the more you can be prepared for a future where all humanity will live in unity and peace. The time is fast approaching when all of the pieces in the great cosmic game will come together, and humanity will know that we are not alone. We are coming to prepare Earth for her ascension into the fifth dimension. In this new reality, there will be no war, disease, or hunger. The planet will be healed. All life on Earth will awaken to its divine purpose as it merges with its galactic family. All of this is possible because of the power of love that each one of us holds within our hearts. Thank you for this opportunity to assist you during this important time on planet Earth. Our love, our light, and our blessings are with each and every one of you. We love you dearly. We are here with you. We are your family of light. Aho! Aurora Ray from the Galactic Federation .com. And from Divine Brothor of the Light, Richard Rudd, Gene Keys, Unlocking the Higher Purpose Hidden in Your DNA. Gene Key, 58, December 25th through December 30th, 2021. Dissatisfaction, Vitality, Bliss. Increased vitality really means increased freedom. No matter how old or decrepit your body may be, you begin to feel rejuvenated by the joy that begins to well up within you. You find yourself happy for no real reason at all. Such a force needs to find an outlet in the world, and its most natural path is in finding a way to be of service to others. The Gene Keys Book And from the Yi Ching, the classic book of change, Hexagram 58 The Joyous 
serene still waters nourish life. Bliss exists in the serenity of nature. Nourishing life force brings enthusiasm to thrive. Bliss is the eternal spring of life. Vitality swims in the joyous water of service. Dissatisfaction thrives in the murky marsh of stagnancy. Energy of elation. The superior man encourages the conversation of friends and the stimulus of their common practice. The ancients named this gene key, this hexagram, the joyous, because how can we have joy without sadness? Loss is a part of human life. We all lose those we love. How we deal with loss is a deep, deep part of our learning within this gene key. Richard Rudd, 64 Ways, from GeneKeys.com And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Leah Whitehorse. Mercury and Capricorn, Sextile Neptune and Pisces. The considered, sensible, realistic nature of Capricorn blends beautifully with the malleable, miraculous, imaginative energy of Pisces. Trust your inner knowing to guide you to the right path. You have the ability to give tangible form to your vision. Sometimes all it takes is a conversation, a piece of information, a meditation or dream, and suddenly the walls come tumbling down and solutions flood the mind. Talk about your dreams with others. Sometimes the more we share ideas, the more possible they become. If you're finding it hard to find words, read poetry or recite lyrics. Find expression for your thoughts through music, dance, or song. Pay attention to synchronicity as the soul speaks. Lend an ear to those in need. Open a conversation to rebuild peace. From LeahWhitehorse.com And from 13 Moon Peace Time Today our galactic signature is Keen 117 Red Cosmic Earth Affirmation I am Kaban Earth I am your grounding and protection I give to you earth power and crystal healing power. Kaban is the one that moves, like the earth itself, like the cycles of nature that are always in motion. The power of earth is a warm guiding power. She leads the way, and you follow her like a magnet. It is almost like gravity, but earth leads you in a horizontal direction. Follow your feet wherever they may lead. They walk the path of Mother Earth. Good followers will effortlessly walk in step with everything else. That is synchronicity. Earth asks you to keep moving, to let go, and to have faith in the outcome of your journey. The codes of time are all aspects of a system of new knowledge. New knowledge by its nature is cathartic and transformative. Old knowledge must be displaced, abandoned, or revised, otherwise the new knowledge will not take root. There must be a turning in the deepest seat of consciousness for the new knowledge to become real, in order to inform and nourish the most profound psychic bases of our being. This can be a, by turns of painful, a bewildered, or even a boring process. Painful because new knowledge confronts the spell of egoic attachments that the old knowledge casts upon us. Bewildering because the new knowledge does not fit our preconceived notions of reality, both philosophically or socially, and boring because sometimes it seems like it is just rote practice and we are not certain that it leads anywhere or that anything is really happening. The point is, once you have entered the stream of new knowledge, do not stop halfway. If you don't do it, it won't work. Rin Ri Project, Newsletter, Volume 1, Number 6, Cosmic History Quote for Moon 6, Day 13. When a system reaches its limits, this is the point when a new evolutionary state is triggered. Cosmic History Quote for Moon 6, Day 14. The Akashic Field is the mathematically structured medium that holds the holograms or holographic information of all and everything that is. 13moonpeacetime.com And today from the Zolkin Times, Keen 117, Red Cosmic Earth. Cosmic is the name for the number 13, and its keywords are transcend, endure, and presence. This is the final day of the Red Serpent wave spell, and as always, the last day sums up the journey that began on day one. We have arrived at our destination. Contemplate the lessons learnt this last 13 days. We must endure to transcend, meaning we must strive for what is important. It doesn't just land in your lap. Today is Red Earth, which represents evolution, synchronicity, and navigation. So what are we striving for? Evolution. The point of the Red Serpent wave spell is to shed our old skins and emerge renewed. 
that was the agenda all along. A perfect ending to a 13-day journey which really tested our patience and strength. If you wish to evolve, you must put in the hard work is the message here. Today is not easy, but potentially very progressive. And today from Divine Sister of the Light, Christina Papa Giorgio, Red Cosmic Earth, 13 Caban, Keen, 117, 26 of December, 2021. Birthing the New Evolutionary Cycle, 2612, 2021, equal 835, equal 88, equal 16, equal 7, 88, Abundance Gate, Day Codes, 26, Empowerment Through Compassion, 8, Abundance, Infinity, Source Flow, 16, Tower Struck by Lightning, Unforeseen Events, 7, Magic, Mystic, Spiritual, Solitude, Month Year Codes, 12, Acquiring Strength, Wisdom, 3, Holy Trinity, Joy, Creativity, Communication, 5, Freedom, Liberation, Change, Transformation, 8, Infinite, Abundance, Source Flow, Keen 117 equal 9, Destiny, Service, Compassion, Humanity, Grace. A very beautiful transcendental code today, marking the completion of the Red Serpent Wave Spell. Hip hip hooray, we made it through one of the toughest transformational cycles of the serpent ever. On with the show, Day 13 in the Red Serpent Wave Spell of Survival Instinct, Kundalini Rising, Life Force, Passion, and Rapid Transformation through Shedding Our Old Skin. Today we complete our Baptism of Fire with Cheek Chan and Shed Our Old Skins, Transcending Our Scarcity and Survival Wounding, Ready to Rebirth Ourselves through this Christ Mass Portal. Renewal and regeneration is the order of the day, expanding our kundalini through our crown and our soul star chakras, bursting out to become one with the cosmos, our crowning glory. Tone of creation, cosmic is the last and final tone of creation, the highest octave. Tone 13 operates in the spiritual realm. 13 is the mystical number of the cosmic order, the goddess and synchronic natural time. Cosmic, action transcends, power indoors, essence presence. Today you have incredible spiritual power at your disposal to transcend all those old patterns and transform them by your pure presence through your kundalini rising, attaining cosmic consciousness. Our DNA has been upgrading and our light quotient increased as our cells are rejuvenated and our light body is glowing. We have arrived at Samayam here. This is the stage of having transcended the physical, emotional, and mental realms and arriving at cosmic consciousness. Red Serpent has gifted us with tremendous emotional purging and balancing our energy body, through which we can now ascend to higher levels of expansion through our purified vessels, open to the flow of chi that meanders majestically through the rivers, mountains, and woods of the natural world to accomplish great healing today. As our meridians have been cleared, so too have Mother Gaia's, as we are one, the microcosm and the macrocosm. We celebrate Mother Gaia's accomplishments in clearing and balancing her earth grids and meridians throughout this red serpent wave spell, as the rainbow serpent and the feathered serpent have fully awakened and risen, commencing their planetary dance in readiness for this cosmic explosion of their union. So, beloved, it's a divine day to immerse yourself in the natural world. Listen deeply to our Pachamama, our Earth Mother, and respond to the urge to birth the new highest potentials for her and all of consciousness. Today we have fully crowned as we exit the birth canal. We are indeed here in presence with her, fully witnessing and co-creating the new reality, ready to fly, swim, Sing our way into heaven, birthing here now on earth. Today's question is, am I ready to ascend the old earth paradigm and birth a new higher consciousness in this new evolutionary cycle? We bid adieu to Red Serpent who challenged us to evolve through raising our kundalini, clearing our channel, and aligning with the cosmos. Chik Chan uncovered our deepest, darkest survival fears, stirring up our passion, our life force, and gave us much needed wisdom and vitality. We have transcended our old 3D bodies, having energetically shed our old selves. We have activated and encoded our DNA and upgraded our cellular gold print. We are now ready to set forth on the next chapter of our journey. 
Tomorrow we commence a brand new revealing wave spell with Eight's Knob, taking us into the Hall of Mirrors as we journey into uncovering our authentic, new upgraded selves in the magical dream spell. Divine blessings for the transcendence of the old, outdated, and outmoded you, birthing the new, shiny, cosmic you. In la quetch a la keen, Christina White Magnetic World Bridger, Keen 66. Keen 117, Red Cosmic Earth. The mantra, the code for today is, I endure in order to evolve. Transcending synchronicity, I seal the matrix of navigation. With the cosmic tone of presence, I am guided by the power of birth. And on this powerful day of birthing transformations and the great emergence of this harmonic convergence, let us know, beloved beings of light, in the comments below what you're experiencing, what you're feeling, your dreams, your visions, and your synchronicities. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on future updates. And as always, we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions. And we archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. Now I'd like to take the time to thank everyone supporting us in our work and mission. It's because of your monthly pledges and donations that we're able to continue this work. So thank you all very much for supporting us and continuing to provide support for us. I'd like to welcome and thank Divine Brother of the Light Thomas Anderson for your pledge and support on Patreon. Thank you very much and welcome to the tribe of the Eagle and Condor. And I'd like to also welcome and thank Divine Angel of the Light Cosmia for your pledge and support on Patreon. Thank you very much and welcome to the tribe of the Eagle and Condor. If you'd like to help support our work and mission and help us continuing bringing these transmissions to the world and continue teaching the world our arts and practices, you can make a monthly pledge on Patreon at whitegoldeagle.com. Now I'd like to also thank Divine Sister of the Light Maria Richards for another donation. Thank you very much, Divine Sister of the Light. I'd like to also thank Divine Sister of the Light Debbie Teichman for your donation, another donation. Thank you very much. We'd like to also thank Divine Sister of the Light Rhonda Doris for your donation. Thank you. And thank our Divine Brother of the Light Andy Brinkman for your donation. Thank you very much and thank you. Divine Sister of the Light, Allison Hobbs, for your donation. Thank you very much. We appreciate you all for your support and appreciate all of you continuing to support us in this very important work and mission that we're all doing together to assist Gaia and all her children in this great ascension process. If you'd like to support us with a one-time donation, you can do so to our PayPal account at EagleLoveCondor.com. Now I'd like to also thank everyone supporting my Sacred Condor's artwork on Etsy. You can purchase her beautiful handmade goddess totems, zodiac goddesses, healing jewelry, and other works of art at lunagoddessart.com. Now we're going to complete today's transmission with powerful codes from our Divine Sister of the Light, Sandra Walter. This is the Christ Light Divine Decree. Command and Decree, I am Divine Love. I am divine light. I radiate the pure, true, omnipresent light infinitely. I radiate the pure Christ light consciousness. I welcome this forward through my heart center to all of creation. I am all that I am. I command every particle of my beingness, all levels, layers, and dimensionals, expressions of me, to unify in divine love and radiate the pure Christed light through every sound all of my energy fields and all of creations from this moment forward. So be it. I am the resurrection and the life. I am the way, the true, and the light. I am the light of this world. I am all that I am. Thy will be done. Hold this divine frequency of love, light, source, and the pure Christed light in every particle of your beingness. Whenever you need to return to this state, place your hands on your chest, feel your heart center, and light up all of the Christed light beingness and radiate it out. Breathe in all of creation. Breathe in the fluidity, the stability, the omnipresent light of source. Thank you. I love you. So be it. From SandraWalter.com Thank you for joining us today, beloved beings of light. We hope you had a most beautiful and blessed Christmas day. 
my queen and I and my our sacred children and our La Familia of the Light had a beautiful and blessed day. So thank you all for supporting us in this great work. It's because of all of you that we're able to continue living this life of Heros Gamos. So we hope you continue having a most beautiful and blessed holy days and happy new earth. Keep walking gently your sacred path with heart, with peace and love in every step. Keep shining your light brightly into the night, and be sure to make this the best day ever. The eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste.